plan mode has been around forever. And I actually have been a fan of it back in the days when architect mode was uh, the main thing that we had in Rue code. But now everyone's starting to roll it out. Cursor has recently introduced plan mode. Before I jump into that, which I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you some plans that have been built and the result of each of those. And I have one that by far is the winner. But before I jump into that, I do want to say Claude Code has gotten to the point with Sonnet 4.5 where even for simple things, I think you need to put it in plan mode. Because historically, when I would do edit mode in Claude Code, it would fill in some of the gaps for me. It would go find some of the context. So if I needed to change an API like in this example for reset password, it would go figure out how to do that. Now, if you read through this exchange here, you can see that it makes some changes to the code. I'm like, hey, this code isn't right. You need to switch from find one to find. No, find one should be right. I'm like, right, but you are checking there. There's at least one primary. So it's trying to iterate over something that's only going to return one. It doesn't make any sense. And this individual on X asked me when I posted this, did I run it in plan mode? Now, what I've come to learn after actually thinking about this, anytime I'm doing anything in clock code now, I start, start in plan mode. And this individual gave me that idea. So I appreciate that, sharing that with all of you. But jumping into the main part of this video, we're going to start with Droid Sonnet 4.5. Now, I was not impressed with Droid's plan mode. And in fact, the way that I like to judge plan modes is if I can take this, this spec and give it to another model, another agent, without any of the context that's been gathered, how well will it do? Now just read through this. It's a very basic spec, very minimal. I do love the formatting of it, so I love that part of it. But I actually tested actually handing this off to GLM 4.6, not good results. I actually continued on in Droid with Sonnet 4.5, and I also got, I would argue, not good results. My images aren't loading, which they should based on the prompt that I gave it. The at doesn't work, which it should. The agents aren't loading, which it should. Files and layouts are just placeholder, which they should not be. So I was not impressed with this. I would give this probably a C minus, maybe a D. Now going over to Claude Code, running the same exact test, same plan. I did have to iterate a little bit differently here because it made one mistake where it was actually trying to use my sidebar that I already had. I didn't want it to change that regardless. So you do have to pay attention to that. Now, this plan is a lot better. Now, if I were to give this to a different agent, I do think I would get a little bit better of an implementation. Do I think it would be, is it perfect? No, it doesn't do a lot of the stuff that I would expect on the back end. It didn't pick up a lot of the APIs. So theoretically, I would need to spend more time actually iterating on this before I would go and kick it off. But I didn't want to do more than like two iterations for each plan as I'm kind of doing this test. Now we get in here. This looks pretty good. I'd say the styling is better. It did pick up some of my colors properly. It did get like this part properly. Images do not load, which they should. The agent selector did not work. Chatting did not work. I couldn't actually send messages. So kind of a big want, want, maybe a C minus on this one as well. Maybe the plan is a little bit better because I could hand that off, but the implementation carrying it in with Sonnet 4.5 was not great. Now, to be clear, I did use Sonnet 4.5 thinking here, so I think that's important to kind of differentiate. Now, Cursor, GPT-5 high. I expected high things out of this. I've been playing around with Cursor's plan mode for quite a while. I know that it's good. And maybe to show you one of the things that I actually really like about Cursor plan mode is it actually gives you a nice full page view of the plan. This plan that we're looking at here is the GPT-5 a GPT-5 high plan. I think it's actually really well done uh, but the implementation of this while i do think i could hand this off to a different model and get a reasonable output of it i don't think it's totally sufficient so i think this one is a little bit lacking because we're not we're not getting a lot of details about what each file actually should do and if we go and we look at the questions that it actually asked me i thought this was kind of nice too because i love this follow-up part so i did want to include this that one of the things that I love about Cursor's plan mode is it doesn't just jump into the plan, it actually asks me questions. And all of these questions were good. Like all of them make sense to me. Now, we have the closest working version so far. My images are actually loading. That is perfect. It should be able to do that. It's a very simple API. My streaming of my chat actually should work. So I, I type in hello there and I actually get it. It didn't parse it. It didn't handle the streaming well. 
And arguably, I'd say the formatting, it went to dark mode, which actually I kind of like, but I know my co-founder wouldn't like that. Uh, it looks good. So this was this one is actually pretty darn solid overall. Now, this one is the one that kind of blew me away the most. So Cursor using Sonnet 4.5. Now, one of the things that I do want to be super clear on here, if I can go find cursor real quick, is there's this little brain icon. I'm using Claude 4.5 Sonnet with the brain icon there, uh, which I mean, I think that just means it's thinking, as thinking enabled. So that is the one that I'm using. It builds what I would arguably say an incredible plan, like absolutely incredible. This plan, I feel like I could go and give to a different model. And it even gives you down to like what API to call in that file. Just astronomically amazing service implementations. I did no iterations on this. I answered, well, I answered the questions, which actually I'll show you the questions that I answered. That API is right. Yes. Yes. I like where you, I like a, I guess I even typoed that. I like it where we can show a drop down. And it talks about the patterns to use, even points to the files where that actually could actually be. It, this plan is phenomenal. And I go and I continue implementing this with Sonnet 4.5. I just carry it right through. And we actually get a working version of this with what I'm trying to do is a Canva style kind of sidebar here with images that are here. My agent selector work, the chat actually comes through. The styling actually looks pretty decent here. Now I couldn't get the at stuff to work so I would need to look into that because ideally I would be able to do like, you know, reference. I'd have something kind of pop up there. So I would need to kind of look at that. It actually added my file uploader. The other ones were all placeholder. It wasn't even worth it. This actually resizes beautifully. It's amazing. The layouts actually are loading correctly. None of the other ones did any of this. So this was an incredible pass with very little iteration using the exact same prompt across all of those tools. I am blown away by how good Cursor did with Sonnet 4.5 at gathering context, building the plan, and then executing it. And to maybe add on to this a little bit, was it perfect? No. And what I mean by that is there were some things that I thought were kind of odd. One is it's starting to mess with my SQL migration. I it, You're not supposed to do that. Like if you understand the context of my code base, you know that it's handled by the model file and I have my migration handled elsewhere. So it did mess that up. So I don't want to like just say this thing is perfect. You still do need to kind of understand what's happening. The other thing that I found that, you know, whether you might like this, I'm kind of hit or miss on it. I'm not a fan of it just giving me documentation for the sake of documentation, especially when these kind of feel useless, you know, documents. So part of me thinks that I should not have gotten the chat v2 implementation markdown and the readme.markdown. It just feels a little bit, it's too a little bit too documentation heavy for my personal liking. So long story short, out of all of this, Cursor is in a place now where I believe there's a 50% chance that they have actually created the Cheetah model, which is not as good as Sonnet Fortified, to be very clear, but it is so freaking fast. I'm able to prototype and iterate on things so quickly. I was looking for my tab that I actually had. I've been working on this. I got on a call with my co-founder and we're like, oh, let's try this. I would put it in and in like 10 seconds, I'd have it up running on Cheetah. Now it's rough wireframing. That speed, you cannot discount that because speed for prototyping, like on trying things is incredible. You still want the fat or the slower kind of more methodical reasoning models to do things, but that speed is awesome. Their plan mode is maybe one of the best plan modes that I've seen implemented, both from a visual display, both from in a follow-up asking questions, and then basically being able to execute on it. I think it it's incredible. In my testing over the last three days, it hands down beat Claude Code's plan mode and it beat Droid's plan mode. I would need to test it across other agents, but Cursor, you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I've been very critical of Cursor. Uh, but, I mean, you got to call it like it is. Like, this is a amazing addition to Cursor that has me actually thinking that I could see myself using Cursor again uh, for full time for a little bit of time. Just to, because this plan mode is so great and the stuff I've been able to get out of it is awesome. Anyway, I think I'm going to end it there. 
let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you had a chance to try this out, I think it's great. I put enough time into it now to be able to say that I, and this, you might disagree with me on this and I'm totally okay with that. But I think it does better with Sonnet 4.5 over GPT-5 High if you're using the basis of, I wanna make a plan that I can give to another agent to execute on it. I think Sonnet 4.5 does just work so good in this cursor plan mode. And it's still over engineers. It's still annoying at times. It's not perfect, but it does. It just is more thorough than what I'm able to get with GPT-5 High, which is fascinating to me. It just shows you how much prompting and harnessing can actually like do stuff with these models that you don't think are possible based on the annoyances that you deal with in say like claw code. All right, that's it. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this. Until next time, everyone, peace out.